Hey, this is Brett, and this 2013 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 is stock number 14502Z. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used sports car headquarters. This 2013 Shelby GT500 20th anniversary has the 5.8 liter supercharged V8 Trinity engine, puts out 662 horsepower, 631 foot-pounds of torque. It's paired up with a six-speed manual transmission. This car has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop per the state of Wisconsin inspection process. It has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off, and this car is 100% ready to go. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video. Inside, start it up, take a look under the hood, show you all the options and give you the most accurate re representation of the vehicle that I can. Also go through some of the unique numbers concerning this particular car. Shoot all my videos in 4K. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and sports car walkarounds on YouTube and stay current on our ever-changing and vast sports car inventory here at Summit Automotive. This one comes with the SBT 19-inch painted alloy wheels in the front. This one's in pretty nice shape. It does have the Brembo brakes, of course, and it has Goodyear Eagle F1 265-40ZR19 tires. And these tires, the tread is on the inside here, so I would say that they have probably about 60, 70, maybe even 80% of the tread left on those tires. A uh, good amount of tread left on there. You get the Cobra logo right there. It looks really good. The GT500 side stripes are in excellent condition as well. So they made 4,885 GT500s in 2013. And of those, 4,077 were coupes. Of the 4,077 that were coupes, 346 were in race red. So kind of a good low number color to have. The white stripes on there, 322 of those four, 346 had the white stripes. You can see the front bumper is in excellent condition. And as usual on these GT500s, the front lower valence got a couple little scuffs on there, but these uh, lower valences are pretty easy and inexpensive to replace. So uh, other than that, the top valence is in really nice shape. The front bumper, I didn't see any dents, scuffs, scrapes, or cracks on there. The front stripes are in pretty nice condition. And going onto the hood, look really good. The hood is in excellent shape. I didn't see any corrosion on the lips, something you gotta look out for on these GT500s this particular year. The, Hoods are aluminum and sometimes they corrode if they've been in a bad environment. This one's in excellent shape. You get the HID headlamps, LED running lights, and the factory fog lights, which I'll turn on at the end of the video. Passenger side front fender is in excellent condition as well. And the passenger side front wheel is very nice and clean. I didn't see any scuffs or scrapes on there. And of the 346 coupes um, that were race red, uh, 284 had the performance package which gave you those 19 inch wheels in the front. As you go down this side of this 2013 Ford Shelby GT500 Mustang, take note of how clean the body is, how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you're far away or even if you're close by, you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the vehicle, you can see the car, hear the car, and have confidence in the vehicle that you're looking at so you can make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. If this video helps you make that smart buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, that it was helpful and that Brett sent you. Very clean on that side. The stripes are in fantastic condition on this side as well. I didn't see any scuffs or scrapes on them. In the back, you get the 20 inch SVT wheels. This one's in really nice shape. And you get Goodyear Eagle F1, 285-35ZR20 tires in the back. And these tires have just as much tread as the front tires. 
maybe a hair bit less, but still a really good tread. And the other thing to show you back here is the rear differential and the underbody is very clean, by the way. So the rear differential, there is that cooling line that comes off of there. That signifies that this car has the track package. And that's really the only way to identify that it has the track package visually. Coming around to the back of the vehicle, rear bumper is in excellent shape. And of the 346 race red coupes, 216 of them had the track package. So pretty low numbers on the track package for race red. The back stripes are in really nice condition as well, as is the back plastic piece here, or the back fascia. The GT500 logo is in really nice shape as well. LED tail lamps. So I have the original window sticker here. Feel free to pause this. I'm not gonna go over everything except the optional equipment. So SVT performance package, which is a $34.95 option. The uh, manual four-way driver seat, um, 331 ratio limited slip axles. So that is kind of a rare option on this car. Only 62 of the race reds had the 331 limited slip axles. So uh, that's a pretty rare number for that. SVT track package, which is $29.95, which gives you the super engine cooling with that rear um, axle cooling system as well. Electronics package with the navigation system is 2340. Shelby Man Re Leather Recaro seats are 1595 and the Shaker Pro system is 1295. Uh, total MSRP on this one was 66715. And here I have all, you're probably wondering where I get all these numbers, but this is a build production sheet of how many 2013 GT500s were made. So basically you can see race red 346, how many of them had the Recaro seats with the white accents, which was 115. And then 62 had the limited slip axle. 370 or 322 had the SVT racing stripes. 216 had the track pack. And 231 had the navigation system. And 284 had the performance package and 221 had the Shaker Pro, which gives you this subwoofer right here. Uh, back storage area, very nice and clean. This one does have the original um, tire inflator kit and there's a new tire inflator kit because that one is expired, but we do have a new tire inflator kit in here. So we did that in our safety inspection as well, but you get the original. In case you want that. These will be with the car when you come to get it. And the inside of the trunk lid is in really nice shape. I always like closing these trunk lids with this plastic piece here so you don't wreck the paint or that back applique. Driver's side rear quarter is in fantastic condition. No dents or dings on there. And this back wheel is in very nice condition as well. Didn't see any major scuffs or scrapes. This one does have the capless fuel fill, which is a really nice feature. Never get gas on your hands. And down the rest of this side of the car, the door looks really good. Didn't see any dents, didn't see any dings. And once again, this side stripe, very nice condition. Lower rockers are in nice shape. Not a lot of road rash, which kind of jealous of. My GT500 has a little road rash. Uh, anyways, blind spot mirrors. And inside you get the Recaro seats with the white stripes. You also get the Cobra stitched into the backrest. You get the suede bolsters on the side, the leather center, and a Recaro stitched on the side of the seat. Back seats are in fantastic condition as well. No rips or tears on there. You do get the ambient lighting. And uh, you get the 20th anniversary sill plate there. There is the VIN sticker, no uh, Canadian vehicles here. And no rips or tears on that seat. It's in really nice shape. Factory GT500 floor mats, does have launch control to different dampers. And then you also have your different steering feels, auto headlamps, power windows, locks, and mirrors. 
the inside bolster is attached and nice. We'll hop inside, check out the miles, the radio, and everything that this one has to offer on the interior before we start it up and take a look under the hood. So you can see this one has 11,573 miles on it. You get a mileage to empty on their instrument cluster. It's very nice and clean. Comes with the leather wrapped and Alcantara suede steering wheel. Bluetooth and audio controls on the right. Cruise controls and information center controls on the left. You get the Cobra logo on the center there. Leather on the bottom. And the steering wheel's in really nice shape. This one has my favorite radio. The uh, touchscreen radio with the factory navigation system. There's Highway 41, so that is working nicely. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You also have a media where you can have a jukebox. You can put CDs in there and download the CDs to your hard drive and basically just have a bunch of CDs to play music from, which is a really nice feature. Speaking of the CD player, it's right there. Down here's your dual climate controls, volume and tune controls. Six-speed manual transmission with that cue ball shifter. There's the ambient lighting and the cup holders there as well. And the uh, glove box, floor mat, and seat are all in excellent condition. You also get the Shelby on the handle there. And the headliner on this one is in really nice condition as well. I didn't see any rips or tears. Smells very clean inside this car. You get home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems and map lights. All right, let's start it up. Take a look under the hood. Also listen to the exhaust. And check out those HID lights in the front. Starts right up, no check engine lights or anything like that. the passenger side is just a little louder than the driver's side anyways love the LED tail lamps on there as well I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today hopefully from this HD video you've been able to verify the quality condition options cleanliness build numbers everything to do with this beautiful car HID headlamps LED running lights factory fog lights everything is working fantastically and under the hood, we have the 5.8 liter supercharged V8 engine, the Trinity engine. You get the powder coated blue valve covers on there. This one was made by Mary, Larry Miyaki and Paul Water. Uh, Larry Miyaki is the same guy that built my engine and my GT500. Engine bay is very clean, runs very smooth. Once again, this car has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop, has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off. And this car is 100% ready to go. There is the emissions sticker. And I would highly recommend this car from a quality and condition standpoint. I think whoever's gonna get this one's gonna absolutely love it. And to see more pictures of this car or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, sports cars, GT500s, Camaros, Challengers, Chargers, SRT8s, Hellcats, Z06s, ZL1s, you name it, we got it. Go to the website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. If you want to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and sports car walkarounds on YouTube and stay current on our ever-changing and vast sports car inventory so you do not miss out on gems like this one. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the GT500 videos I've ever done in the upper right, link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, we're super excited to help you with this ultra clean 2013 Shelby GT500 Mustang in race red clear coat. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again and have a great day.